Ladies and gentlemen, it's Design Slider. In today's world of technology, using AI is imperative for time-saving advantage. You will not want to spend more time on simple tasks that AI will do for you in just a few clicks. This video shows how to create PowerPoint presentations using ChatGPT artificial intelligence. You should be smiling as you do this in just two simple steps. Open your browser and go to chat.openai.com. On the new chat, come down here to chat with ChatGPT here. Pay attention to the clear instructions you give to ChatGPT. Be sure you use these words in your command. Generate a visual basic for application VPA code for a PowerPoint presentation on any topic of your choice. In my case, I'm using emotional intelligence. You may also step further by stating the exact number of slides you want. In this demo, I am specific to six slides. If you want more, you can include whichever number of slides you want in your presentation. I added, please include a call to action at the end of the presentation slides. So just make sure you give your instructions clearly so that chat GPT will generate the correct code and include the right information for you. Send message. And in case the response is getting too long, it's possible chat GPT will pause and then you will see a button that will say continue. Just click on the continue button. Now that chat GPT has completed generating the VBA code for us, the next is for us to copy this. So you can just select from the bottom here and select all the text in the code section, then copy. Alternatively, easier to just go to the very top of the code response and click this button, copy code at the top here. I click copy code and it is copied. Go to open your PowerPoint, open a blank presentation, go to the developer tab. If you search the ribbon and you could not find the developer tab, it's easy, go to file, then find your way down to options. Under options, go to customize ribbon. Then on the far right, you see customize the ribbon main tabs and scroll down to look for developer. And here is developer, it is turned off. So you need to check it to turn it on, then give it OK. Now that you have your developer tab, Click on it and from there go to Visual Basic. Here in Visual Basic at the top you see the VBA box. It has a drop down. Click the drop down to expand it and select module. In case you don't see the VBA box then go to insert and under insert select module. The module editor comes up. It's in here that will paste the code we copied from ChatGPT. Right click to paste the code or use Control V. Going through the code, here is slide 1 and the code for it, slide 2 and the code for it, slide 3, 4, 5, up to the last slide. After the last slide, in my case, the last slide is slide 6, which is call to action according to the instruction that I gave to chat GPT to do for me. So now, after the last slide, you will see this command here that says save presentation all the way to clean up and the code for it. I need to highlight all this. Sometimes it's possible you see exit and also the code for it. Take away all those by deleting them. Just be sure that after your last slide, in my case, slide 6 and the code for slide 6, make sure you don't have anything like save or clean up and the code. In some cases, you can see exit and the code as well. Just make sure you select all those and delete them. Once more, after the last slide, the only thing you need to see is the end sub and anything related to end sub. Now that we have deleted auto save, auto clean up and auto exit, go to click the run tab at the top and you will see run sub slash user form. You can click on it, it works. Alternatively, you can see this tiny play button. As I hover my mouse on it, you see it says run sub slash user form. It works as well. Use any of these to run the VBA code. I click run. And boom, the presentation is here. Slide 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. 
And of course, I hope you know that you can go through all these and be sure that the content is accurate according to what you want in your presentation. You can take away any part that is not necessary and you can as well decide to give it some effects. Just edit the content and perfect it to your preference. Then let's make it more appealing for the audience. All you need at this point is just to be sure you have internet access on your device. Then go to the ribbon at the top and click design. Then towards the far right, you will see designer. Click on designer. What designer does is that PowerPoint uses AI to create designs for each slide. It includes icons, images or photos, sometimes even including videos and design it in a very creative way. So you have different options to select for each slide. How about this? I think this design will look better for this particular slide. Do the same for each of the slides. This is awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, our PowerPoint presentation is ready. We have just used ChatGPT to create PowerPoint presentation. Subscribing to this channel is good for you and me. Therefore, subscribe here and like this video by giving it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.